Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa ating Connect. Mag-usap tayo. Ito po ay ang vlog series or podcast series, kung ano man tawag-tawag niyo dito, ng CBMA Zone 4. Ang pinag-uusapan po natin is about family issues. And today, ito po yung part 3 ng ating family issues and that is about character. Sige po, tayo po yung muna imanalangin bago po tayo mag-aral ng salita ng Panginoon. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that today we are here again to talk about issues of life, issues that is that is so important and matters to Christian families. And one of them, Lord, is the character. Lord, sa aming pag-aaral, Panginoon, sa aming pag-usap, ay nawa tumimo sa aming Panginoon ang nais mong mangyari at masabi sa amin. Dain ko, Panginoon, ang lahat ng makikinig at mag-aaral, Panginoon, ng gawain ito, Diyos, ng aming uh, pag-uusap na ito, Diyos, ay mabuksan ang kanilang pag-iisip, mabuksan ang kanilang mga uh, kalooban, Panginoon, upang ang aming mga pamilya ay aming ma- maturuan ng tamang karakter. Lord, binubuksan namin aming sarili sa mga magagamdang bagay na ibibigay mo sa amin. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, na ma-achieve ang goal, Panginoon, ng connect o Diyos, ng gawain ito o Diyos. Lord, uh, at kung meron kang kaming katigasan ng aming puso at isipan, Panginoon, patawarin mo kami o Diyos at kami, Panginoon, ay matuto ng iyong pamamaraan. Kaya nga po, Panginoon, sa iyong mga salita, baguhin mo kami, Panginoon, ng aming mindset ay mabago, Panginoon, upang kami ay maging katulad ni Kristo sa araw-araw from glory to glory. Salamat po, Panginoon, itago mo sa hindi kuram at tanging si Jesus lamang ang maitaas sa pag-aaral na ito. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen at Amen. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our Connect. Uh, mag-usap tayo. This is about a talk about uh, family issues at tayo po ay uh, magkaroon ng balitaktakan, usapan, and opinion, exchange of opinion. So if you have any questions, clarifications, and whatever, please Uh, uh, drop a line sa ating uh, uh, chat box or sa ating tinatawag na uh, sulatan. Ano po? At kayo po ay uh, makibahagi po sa hapon na ito. And today, we are going to talk about Family Issues Part 3. Uh, let me just share to you uh, my presentation para po tayo ay mas ma- magkaintindihan. Ano po? Praise be to God. Today, I would like to talk about a good person with a bad character. A good person with a bad character. Ito po yung aking na pag-isipan na maibahagi po sa inyo tayong lahat na nasa families. No? Sometimes, uh, we don't know that uh, a good person may not really have a good character as well. No? Uh, maraming tao, they are good people, but they have bad characters. Unfortunately, and sadly to say, maraming kristyano, ganun din po. No? Kaya sa hapon na ito, ay pag-aralan po natin. Let's open our Bibles in Mark chapter 10, verses 17 and 31, up to 31. I'm going to read it in New International Version. At ito po yung nasasabi. 17. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? 18. Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, no one is good except God alone. 19. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. You shall not defraud, honor your father and mother. 20. Teacher, he declared, all these I have kept since I was a boy. 21, Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor and you will have treasures in heaven. Then come follow me. At this time, the man's face fell. He 
he went away sad because he had great wealth. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. So, stop na po natin ng just a verse 23. No? Basahin na lang po sa bahay at sumunod after uh, ng verse 23. So, one thing that I would like to point out is that marami po sa atin, lalo tayo kung lumaki tayo sa church, lumaki tayo sa magandang pamilya, we were groomed to be good people. We were trained to be good people. And we are raised to be good people you know so there's nothing wrong with that no probably uh ito po yung pagkakapagpapalaki sa atin this is how we uh were 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 raised you know that we put high premium on self worth no so anihin mo yon sabi po ng isang uh uh doktor ng psychology Lawrence Kohlberg meron siyang sinulat na about six stages of moral reasoning bakit nga ba ang mga tao po ay nagpapakabuti no kasi uh, dito natin makikita yung bakit nga ba tayo nagpapakabuti uh, because we want to project good name we want to project that we are perfect we want to project na walang problema sa atin katulad po dito sa binasa natin sa Mark 10 17 Jesus started on his way a man ran up to him you know it's very curious to me na what uh, the person that runs up to Christ is to be of the same footing the Jesus no para maabutan niya no uh, spiritually speaking there are many people who uh, would love to be <clears throat> labeled as someone that is Christ-like or holy or pious. No? Uh, kaya dito sa verse 17 ng Mark 10, sabi niya, Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Many thinks highly of what they have accomplished. No? Kasi sabi niya, what must I do? So meaning, ang dami niya nang nagawa, ang dami niya nang accomplish. And thinking wrongly, that in in for him to have eternal life he has to do something on his own accord pero again tandaan natin itong tao na ito perhaps he was raised that way no that he is very courteous is very um, accepting no at maraming tao na gusto sa kanya uh, pero dito natin makikita that many people wants to reflect that they are good kaya sila They call people good. They call people this way and that way. Meron mga adjectives kasi they want to reflect what they are, you know, exuding or what they want to project. No? Um, gusto nilang mag-reflect sa kanila yun, what they project. No? And and he is seeking approval na, oo nga naman. No? And he is looking for praise na, oo nga naman, mabait siya, maganda siya. No, uh, they really are looking for praise for from people that could say that they are really that good. No, really that good. Kaya nga dito natin makikita mga minamahal na there is a high premium on self worth, on self goodness, on good name, on good family background, and so on and so forth. No. Walang problema po doon. Walang problema. Sa pamilya natin, syempre, lagi natin iniisip, ano lang sasabihin ng kapitbahay? Ano lang sasabihin ng kamag-anak natin? You know, we want to protect that good name. So, walang problema po doon. I guess, like I said, we were born that way. We were raised that way. no Na ang mga magulang natin is well-educated, uh, sila ay finished, at, and so on and so forth. At Siyempre, naituro sa atin. Katulad po nitong mayamang lalaki na ganun siya. Kaya nga ang, ang bati sa Panginoon, good teacher. No? But the Lord said, ba't mo tinatawag akong good? Wala naman ibang good kundi si Lord. This, you can see na ang Panginoon, He was uh, making the playing field even. No? Kasi itong tao na ito ay, ay meron ngang self-righteousness. No? Mar- again, maraming pamilya, ganun nga. No? Pag nasa church, dapat hindi makita na may problema sila, maayos sila, masaya sila, they're united, at yung mag-asawa, hindi nag-aaway. No? Meron facade na ganoon. Marami pong ganoon. Mali ba yun, Pastor? I don't, I'm not gonna say na mali yun. No? At, but I'm not gonna say na maganda yun. I'm not gonna say. No? So, 
tuloy tayo dito sa ating pinapag-aralan. Ang sabi niya, uh, you lack one thing. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Sabi niya, uh, sinabi ng Panginoon, uh, itinest ng Panginoon siya no? sa verses 19 and, and, and 20. No, sabi ng Panginoon, you know the commandments. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony, you shall not defraud, honor your father and mother. At ang sabi nung, 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 nung mayaman, sabi niya, nagawa ko na lahat to simula nung ako bata. You see, Jesus tests us. No? And, and He tests us, also He validates us. No? God validates what we have done. God validates what we have accomplished. The reason for this is to highlight something. God uh, tests us to validate us as well, to prove a point, and to highlight something. It, this is to highlight God's point of view in our lives. Again, the reason for God testing us and validating us so that we would realize, number one, our shortcomings. Maging maayos man ang ating pamilya, lumaki man ng, ng uh, tinaturuan ang ating mga bata, ang ating mga anak, there are still shortcomings. You know? And the Lord tests what we have done in the family you know, so that we can see Uh, our shortcomings and also highlight what God wants in our lives. No? Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon doon sa lalaking mayaman na, oh, ikaw, eh, uh, gawin mo yung mga kautusan. At sabi nung, nung, nung mayaman, I did that since I was a boy. And the Lord approved it. No? He tests, then validates. No? Dito natin makikita na uh, the Lord sees everything that we do. Kung paano natin pinalaki ating mga anak, paano tayo nagsasama ng ating asawa, paano tayo nakikitungo sa ating mga mahal sa buhay, our in-laws, especially our in-laws, eh, tinatest tayo ng Panginoon how we are with those. And yet, He also validates us. No? He also validates us. So after the Lord validating the, the young rich man, meron siyang pinoint out one thing na kakulangan sa'yo. No? Sabi ng Panginoon. One thing that lacks in you. And what is that? Character. Mayaman siya, oo. Oh, oh, he's young, yes. But he lacks one thing. The character that God wants from every believer. Sabi ng Panginoon, sell and give what you have. Sell and give. No, sell everything you have. Give to the poor. No? Bakit sinabi ng Panginoon yun? Kasi hindi ginagawa noong young rich man. Hindi masama ang maging mayaman. Hindi masama. Basta legal. Ha? Hindi masama. Ang problema sa young rich man na ito ay hindi siya nagsishare. He is so tight. Hindi siya, hindi siya nagbibigay. Siya ay madamot. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, uh, sell what you have and give to the poor. Kasi there are those who are in need. There are those who have nothing. No? Maraming tao po ang mas naka Uh, nakaka, nag, mahi, mas mahirap kesa sa atin at kukunti lang po yung nakakaranya kesa sa atin. That's why Jesus is always looking after the poor and He always mentions na dapat tulungan sila. So, yun ang sabi nung, nung, ng Panginoon sa uh, rich young man. However, isang bagay na gusto ko i-point out sa atin, Jesus did not ask the young man to be poor. Hindi naman sinabi mag maging mahirap siya. Ang sabi lang ng Panginoon, let go of your of what you have and share. No? Yun lang naman ang sabi ng Panginoon eh. Naisip ng lalaki, ay teka muna, no? It's a show ano, show stopper doon sa 
sa uh, young rich man. What what is lacking on uh, from the young rich man? Kasi mayaman na siya, bata pa siya. I'm sure may influence siya. I'm sure people like him. But the, he does not have the character. You see, God is looking for character. What is the character of your children? Hindi ibig sabihin na tayo sa church every Sunday, nasa ministry ang mga bata, ay maganda na yung character nila. What if kung nasa skwelahan niya mga yan? What if kung nasa trabaho? How is their character? No? The Lord looks for character. No? Kaya sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, you lack one thing. And that is character. Kaya nga po tayo mga magulang ay napaka-importante na tayo po ay nakapagtuturo kung paano ma-develop ang karakter ng ating mga anak, ng ating pamilya, as a whole, as an organization, as a unit. Ano ba ang karakter ng ating pamilya? Marami, no? makipagpatayan para sa family. Marami kapag ka na, na danggil mo yung, yung, yung family, magagalit na. It's, it's, it's all fine. You know? It's all noble. However, ano ba ang karakter ng ating pamilya when push comes to shove? Ano ba ang karakter ng ating mga anak when they are alone and with their friends? Ano ba ang karakter natin pag walang ating asawa at mga mahal sa buhay? Are we the same kind of man or woman kung wala sila? Kaya nga yun yung hinahanap sa atin ng Panginoon. And the Lord told him that if you share, let go of your riches and share your, your blessings to others, you will uh, raise or you will uh, save treasures in heaven. No? Kasi maraming tao po mayaman dito sa lupa pero mahirap sa langit. Kasi nga walang karakter. Then the Lord said, come, follow me. It is the answer to the question of the young man. Sabi niya, ano ba dapat kong gawin para magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan? Jesus, before answering that, he gave him some highlights that he needed, that he lacks. And then answered the question. And he said, follow me. Follow me, you know, sabi ng ating Panginoon. Para saan, pastor? Follow Jesus for character building. Follow Jesus for character building. Matthew 16.24 says, Matthew 16.24 says, Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone who come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So dito natin makikita, you cannot follow the Lord to carry His cross when we ourselves are carrying our own. You know? Yung, ang, ang mundo ay nakasentro sa'yo. We do not deny our own selves. You know? And we take up and we carry our own load. Jesus said, take up His cross and follow me. What is that cross that Jesus is um is asking us to carry and that is denying ourselves denying our own will kaya nga ang panalangin ng Panginoong Hesus sa Garden of Gethsemane not my will but your will lord Ephesians 4:13 says until we all reach unity in faith and in the knowledge of the son of god as we mature to the full measure of the stature of Christ. What we need is to become Christ-like. Kamusta ba ang ating pamilya? Are we Christ-like? Kahit wala ang pastor, kahit wala ang church. Are we Christ-like? Kamusta ba ang karakter ng ating mga anak? Are, we, are they Christ-like? Pag nasa party, pag nasa kantin, pagka nasa kalye, are they Christ-like? That is the question. Huh? Kaya nga yung mayamang lalaki, umalis ng malungkot because he had so much wealth. Inisip niya kasi na kailangan mag- maghirap siya. No. 
Hindi mo kailangan maghirap. But you can deny your carnal desires. Yun ang hinahanap ng Panginoon. That, we, that in our denying of the carnal desires is that we share our blessings to others. Hindi yung akin to, akin to. No. Yung character natin na tayo ba ay nababago, na tayo ba ay nagiging katulab ni Kristo. Kaya nga mga minamahal, earlier sa mga trainings natin sa uh, at mga usapan webinars natin sa so, uh, sa CBMA is magkaroon tayo ng uh, discipleship and we call that house churches we have a program no lahat ng churches ay meron ito that we should disciple our own family if you are the father de familia or the mother de familia you are the leader of the family you should be discipling your own family to have that Christ like character in us. That's why sa amin po we have this together, the life group experience so that the leaders of the family should be able to disciple their family so that their family would become Christ like. No? Hindi again, hindi masama ang maging mayaman. Hindi masama, no? Hindi masama na meron kang business, may pinag-aralan, hindi masama. Pero at the end of the day, the Lord is looking for character. Kaya nga po, tayo ba ay kristyano sa church at kristyano rin ba sa CR? Kristyano ba tayo sa bahay-sambahan at kristyano pa rin ba tayo sa traffic? Kristyano pa rin ba tayo na sa trabaho at sa mga iba nating mga ginagawa? Kristyano pa rin ba tayo sa pera at investment? Kristiyano pa ba tayo when we are by ourselves in a foreign place? No? I pray na tayo ang karakter natin ay maging katulad ni Kristo that we might become Christ-like. Let us make sure that our family has the character of Christ. No? Hindi tayo Kristiyano kapag masaya ang lahat lang. Hindi tayo Kristiyano pag maraming pera lang. Kristiyano tayo kahit tayo po ay walang pera, may sakit. Kristiyano tayo kahit tayo po ay anuman ang nangyayari sa atin. No? So with that, akin pong pinasalamatan kayo sa inyong uh, pakikisama po sa inyong lingkod sa araw na ito. That's why I encourage you. No, I really encourage you. Make sure that you disciple your own family first before you disciple others. Make sure that you do discipleship for your family. And with that, kung meron po kayo mga questions, suggestions, or anything that you want to talk about, please write it down sa ating comment section at ating po kayo sus- uh, uh, sasagutin. Tara, mag-usap po tayo. God bless you. God bless you and receive your breakthrough in Jesus' name.